Hey you guys, Ambrosia here, and you probably saw my other video on how to save money when shopping for a diamond looking at its color. Well today I'm going to give you guys a few more secrets on how to save more money when shopping for a diamond looking at its cut and its carat size. So let's begin. So when you are looking at a diamond's cut, it's a lot more than just the shape of the diamond, whether it's round, it's princess cut, it's pear shape. It goes a lot more in depth to the scientific, mathematical way of how it's proportioned. Because when you are shopping for a diamond, we always want a sparkly diamond, and that's where the cut comes in. A diamond is actually influenced by 60% of its value directly on how well it's cut, whether it's ideal or excellent cut, and then you kind of get into the lower grades of good and fair and poor cut. So I could be looking at two diamonds. One could be a half a carat size, one could be a one carat size. And if that one carat size diamond is cut poorly and that half carat cut diamond is ideal cut, you are gonna see more of that sparkle on that half carat diamond. It's gonna stand out more, you're gonna notice it on any type of ring. So I always tell people, bigger's not always better. You really wanna look at how well it's cut. So let's kind of break down more on understanding like the proportions when it comes to looking at the cut of a diamond. Okay, so let's say I have three diamonds and they all weigh one carat in size. So I'm gonna draw this out to explain how the quality of how a diamond is cut can influence its sparkle. So I'm gonna exaggerate these three diamonds just a little bit. And so like I said, all three diamonds weigh one carat in size. But looking at this, why do each diamond measure or look a little bit different in size? So like what we start with is one carat here. And this is called the table, the top of the diamond. And so what we're doing is we're looking at each diamond and the, each diamond's table is a little bit different in size. So this diamond here has a very large table, which means it's going to be cut shallower and most of its weight is at the top of the diamond or on that table. This next diamond has a smaller table, so most of its weight is going to be at the bottom of the diamond or the pavilion part of the diamond. So when light enters a diamond, it refracts. If it's cut poorly, that light, that sparkle, can actually exit out through the sides. You can lose 40% of a diamond sparkle on how poorly it is cut. So what I do is I look at all of the diamond and I'm looking at each proportion of it, the table, the pavilion. So then that way it has an ideal cut, excellent cut. So when light enters a diamond, refracts, it's at the right angle and proportion that the light will come back out through the top and that's where you see that sparkle. Okay, so the big secret is how to save money on the diamond looking at its carat size. Because everyone would love to have a one carat size or two carat size, but I'm gonna show you guys on how diamonds are actually priced through a stepping system and being able to find a way to save money looking at maybe just a little under a one carat size. When you are looking at a carat, the diamond pricing is gonna stay relatively pretty close until you hit a one carat carat size. As soon as you hit that one carat, the pricing jumps up. It's almost like a stepping stone. So then pricing kind of slowly starts increasing again until you hit a one and a half carat. And then the same thing, pricing jumps up, slowly starts increasing until you officially hit that two carat price point. So how you can save money if you really want that one carat size is look at a diamond that's maybe a 0.9 or even like a 0.8 diamond. So it's gonna be really close to that one carat size, but it's a, under that price point before it jumps and it's gonna save you some money. And looking at them side by side, the diamonds are gonna be so close, just a hair difference in size that you'll be able to save money, but everyone's going to think it's a one carat diamond. 
All right, there you guys go. A few tips on how to save money when shopping for a diamond, looking at the carat weight and the way that it's cut. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to comment down below. Would love to be able to answer any questions that you have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to us to be able to learn more about diamonds, how we make our jewelry, and any other questions that you have. And lastly, you can see all of our jewelry on our online gallery. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day.